years ago, when I was in charge of the audit, my clients involved in building the city bridge with the fixed price contract. Now, to me, that project is like with long timelines, with very complicated designs, and even lots of heavy machines were involved. I then check the financials regarding that project, especially for the milestones. I found out that the project costs were out of control. Material prices have doubled, labor delayed, and even the penalty clauses came in because the project did not meet with the deadline. I raise the question, is this contract onerous? I mean, if it is onerous per the IAS 37 provision accounting, you will have to recognize the provision liability and the associated expenses, which will surely wipe out the bonuses that management team members may get. I held a meeting with my fellow auditors, or the senior juniors, and my client management team members. Particularly, I remembered quite clearly that the project financial manager, business development manager, and even the construction site manager. Now, during that meeting, I raised my concern. Is this project onerous? I clearly remembered that the project financial manager was quite nervous in answering my question. And she said, the project costs were 20% more than the fixed price. However, the business development manager said that this just to be a temporary issue because we are trying our best to renegotiate the price with the customer. I then turned my face to the construction site manager at that particular time. And it seems that the construction site manager was a bit more objective. And he said that there's no way that we can get out of this because currently our cost is much higher than the price and we will suffer a loss from that. Now, after the meeting, I went through very carefully regarding the contract and the costs breakdown documents, including the uh, project financial forecast and the cost overrun reports. And I even obtained the legal memo from the legal team. And they both implied to me that this contract is onerous because that the project financial forecast and the cost overrun reports have shown evidence that losses were incurred substantially. At the same time, there's no way that we can renegotiate the contract because everything is fixed there. So therefore, what came to my mind would be only two options. Option A would be to recognize the provision liability for the onerous contract immediately i.e. by recognising the present value of the unavoidable costs, which is the lower of the penalty and the cost of fulfilling that contract, net off the benefit to be our provision liability. Alternatively, the provision liability can be deferred until that we've got more evidence that the contract price can be further renegotiated and we can use that price to cover all of our actual costs. So therefore, one week later, I held an emergent meeting with the project financial manager and the business development manager. I asked them a question very seriously. Are there any chances that this contract price can be further renegotiated. If this is not the case, we will have to book the provision liability immediately. Well, at that time that the project financial manager signed and said, there's no ways that we can change the term. So therefore, I made my own decision that you will have to book the provision liability. I require the project financial manager to calculate the expected unavoidable costs of 
for filling that contract or any penalties inside to calculate the exact amount of the provision liability to be booked. Now, accounting is never about black and white. And of course, in the ACCA exam, we will see plenty of exam questions that without the definite answer. So therefore, in the second part, I'd like to show you that how the onerous contract topic could be tested in the ACCA Strategic Business Reporting or the SBR exam. APC, accounting for your future.